Poboy Special here. We're testing the See All Open Sight. And what are we testing it on? What are we shooting? Well, we've got a Ruger 1022. We've already installed the See All Sight on it. And we took this optic off of it. So we want to see, you know, straight out of the box. Uh, we're going to sight it in first. And once we get it sighted in, then we're going to do a couple of quick target acquisition uh, skills and a couple of rounds just plink around and have fun with it to see what it's like on a Ruger 1022 and uh, see if we like it. Let's get to it. We don't have any nice sandbags or anything. We're just got a table. We're going to be doing it just with plain old just from this table. We're about all the way down there. We're shooting at that little black target. And it's about 20 maybe 22 yards so let's see what it'll do let's go check it out as you can see we were way way right one two three so we're gonna have to bring it left a whole lot looks like maybe the height adjustment is maybe right on we may raise it up just a little bit but man does it have to go to the left so let's go back and do that well it looks like i'm still way right so i'm gonna have to make some really big adjustments i was just turning it just barely and it looks like i'm gonna have to crank it a lot to get it to come over that much so i'm gonna have to make some big adjustments we'll do that now looks like maybe i hit paper let's go see well, I've gotten a little closer. I've moved it over to here. So we're moving just a little bit more and maybe up a little bit and uh, maybe we should have it this time. Right, let's try it again. One more time. All right, I am finally on paper. A little bit scattered everywhere. Didn't say I was a great shot, but at least I got close and I'm getting just a little bit closer we're gonna make just a tiny tiny few fine-tuned adjustments and see if we get can't get closer to that as you can see much much better much better I think I'm just gonna bring it up just a tad and I think we should have it I'm gonna patch some of these holes right now and and we'll see if we Let's got it this one more time with, and I'm gonna I'd make an adjustment just see if I can bring it up just a hair and see what we can do so these we know we've already shot looks like I'm just gonna have an off day today <laughs> looks like I got here and here and here so I came close my shot group isn't that great all right, I was aiming for this black dot here because we've shot all this up. I got one here and one way over here. So I'm going to keep shooting at this black dot. We got two. Where the third one went, I have no idea. So uh, we're going to try that again. All right, this time I got a much better picture of what I'm doing. Looks like I'm just a little bit low and a little bit to the right. So we'll make some little bit of adjustment and see if we can't get any closer than that. All right, much, 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 much better this time. I was aiming for this orange dot above it because we're running out of space. And I danced all around it to the left. So it looks like I overcompensated. I tried to adjust it to bring it to the left because on the previous one, it was way to the right. So I brought it too much to the left this time. I'm going to bring it back just a little bit, see what we can do with it. All right, looks like I did something right. I put an orange dot in between these two because we shot at this one just now the previous time we've been shooting at that one the whole time so i put the orange dot here one two three four I, there you go looks like i hit it twice a group the size of my finger and i've hit the bullseye twice looks like i'm right on it so i'm satisfied with that so will the see all open sight work on a ruger 1022 well you, we sat here and sighted it in and uh I can get that kind of a grouping size of my finger. Quick target acquisition. I put a 
orange dot right above everything else so that's what we're going to be aiming at is that high orange dot we'll take a look at it when i'm done here All right, yes, I understand. I'm not the fastest in the world, but for quick target acquisition, uh, that is not my Ruger 1022. So this is the first time I've ever shot it. So with the see all open sight, quick target acquisition, you saw me shooting it, and that's what kind of result I got. So that's quite impressive. Within two fingers here, one, two, three, four, five, I think I shot eight rounds, but there you go. All within that little bitty area right there. Not bad, that's quite impressive. So is the see all open sight worth anything on a Ruger 10-22? It is for me, I shot that kind of grouping and I, after I sighted in, so I thought it was quite nice. You could see it illuminates very well. You can see it, so you saw it here. On the Poe Boy so, you know, everybody's probably going to want to know what kind of ammunition were we shooting out of this Ruger 1022. What's in this bag? You can see that's what we were shooting. CCI. I don't know if it'll focus in on it. Let me see if we can do it over here the whole time. So that's what kind of ammunition we used. And that's what kind of results we got from the see-all open sight on a Ruger 1022.